All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your Google RSS uh, titles linked up with the correct image and also getting the correct link. And there are going to be some changes from the two videos I've done back here. Uh, still go back and look at these to become a little bit more familiar with like regex, the XML stuff, because we're going to have to do some of that in this video. And then also watch this video here on the new way I do RSS feeds. Now, here's the one little setback to doing it this way. It's going to require more coding, but your images are going to link up. And what we may see on our device might not be the exact thing that we see up here. Sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't be. They may be a little bit out of order. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to explain why because I've been sitting here doing this trial and error and sometimes they come up fine, sometimes they don't, but it's still generally the same ones up here at the top. But the good news about it is our title is always going to match the link and it's always going to match the thumbnail image. For example, here I'm at the PlayStation 4 one. So that's my first feed right there. Uh, the second feed, let's see, $213 Xbox One. Give this a second to load up because I just saved this. And notice it's pulling that thumbnail. Is, there's the title. So right now it's pulling this exact same ones it looks like. PS4 Pro versus Xbox One S. Got a controller. And then PS4 Pro connection problems. Yep. Yep, see the images? All right, every once in a while, one of these may not sync up exactly right. I'm trying, let me see if I can find one real quick before we dive into, into the tutorial. Okay, let me go to feed number one here. Okay, so here we go. Android Circuit, new Galaxy S8 leaks, Nokia smartphones, blah, 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 blah. That's that one there, but it is pulling that image. And if I tap on this here, it should open up that article. It should not open up this one. And let's see what happens. Give it a second to load up. It's going to load up the right one because it's coming from Forbes. Uh, continue to article. Is it going to let me continue to article? <laughs> All right. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, it is pulling that one. It is getting the link. Now, how am I doing this? What's the difference between what I've did, done in these other two videos that I'm doing different now? Well, what I'm doing is I'm going to pull the link you know, when I touch on that, it opens up the article. I'm going to pull the title that you see here, and I'm going to pull that image. I'm going to pull all three of these things from the XML file. So I'm just going to jump back over to PlayStation real quick. And I'm going to go to my PlayStation 4 article. All right, so very similar to what we did in the previous videos. We scroll down to the bottom. We get the RSS information. Let's copy all this, and I'm going to put it into a free XML formatter. So I'm pasting that in there and I'm going to output it to a new screen. All right, so here's what we want to pull. Item one, this is the first time we have item. Item one, I want to pull the title. So I want to get that. I also want to come down here to this link stuff and the link to the article is going to be that part right here. So that's what we're going to have to do. We don't want to use the KOWP functions for link or title. It's going to get out of sync. We have to pull everything from this XML file so it all stays together. All right, so we're getting the title, we're getting the link, and then inside of here somewhere, let me scroll back up, uh, we want to pull this URL, if there is a URL. Sometimes you may not have a URL, so it won't, it won't pull that um, web address, but we want to pull that stuff, okay? So those are the three things we want to pull, and by us pulling all of these things from item one, by us pulling the title, the link, and this image source, by us pulling all three of these from this first item, it's always going to be the same. It's not going to be KOWP pulling something from a certain spot that might not match up with the XML file that we have here. So that's the fix. Let me show you the things that you have to change couple of things. First of all, over in Globals, in the last video that I did, in the Globals for this thing, we had a feed. What you want to do is you want to change this feed to 1, 2, 3, 4. You can go as high as you want to go. Don't go to like 50, but um, get rid of the zero. I had a zero here. We don't want to use zero anymore because we're going to use this in our XML code, and we want to look for item one. There is no item zero in this XML file, so we're going to be looking for item one every single time. Um, at least this is what's worked for me. Okay, so item one, item two, item three, item four. We're going to be using that even though these are the feeds. I hope that makes sense because technically each item that we have here, this one and then this one, all these are our feeds. And we're going to do the same thing for this item. We're going to pull that title. We're going to pull the URL to the article. And then we're going to pull that image source, um, that URL all down here to get to that thumbnail. All right, so that's the first change you want to make. 
get rid of the zero in your feed. Now, over in items, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my widget. I'm going to look at the piece here. Okay, so topic title, and look at how I have this coded. So I'm in item. Here's the code. We're going to do a GV topic, and we want to do the XML, just like we did back with grabbing the pictures in this video here, the way I did the XML and the regex on that. we got to do the same thing with it here, except we want to navigate to the title. So let me scroll back to this one here, and let me go back to item one. So we're in item one. This is what it's really going to be doing, and this is the part that you're going to have to fix. So we want to look in our XML document, GV topic, that's the web address. It's pulling this XML file, and then we want to look at item, and here it is. So you have to type it in exactly like this, quotation plus GV feed plus quotation, and then close it up. So it's going to look at whatever GV feed is, whether it's one, two, three, or four, it's going to look at item one, item two, item three, item four. In this case, since GV feed is one, it's looking at item one, and then it's going to look for the title, and it's going to pull that information right there. That's why you see that exact information right there. So that's one change we have to make. All right. Now, remember, when I touch this thing, I want to open that article up. Well, what I want to do here is I want to get the link to the article, and the link to that article is going to be this part right here, just that. So what we want to do is we want to go, instead of us pulling the title now for this, we want to pull the link, but we want to do some regex on it. We want to get rid of all this junk up until right there. So we're gonna to have to do some regex to search for URL equals, and we want to delete that and everything in front of it. So we want to get rid of all of this. So once we get rid of all of that there, we're gonna be left with just this part right here. And that's going to be the URL to that article, directly to that article. So here's the code for that. Assuming that you've watched the videos, you understand regex a little bit more, we want to do that GV topic, XML, we want to go to item whatever GV feed is, and then we want to go to link. So I'm at item one, I want to go into the link, and it's pulling all of this stuff. And to show you that, I mean, if you didn't watch the other videos, because sometimes I know you want to cut to the chase, I want to show you what would happen if um, we didn't do all this. So let me show you, let me get, make sure I can get rid of everything. So now it's just doing GV topic and it's looking for item one and looking for the link. So right now we should be seeing all of this junk. And as you can see, going back into visor, it should be pulling that exact same thing. Like AFQ, yeah, see AFQJCN, see all that junk? All right, well we don't want that. We want to get rid of Everything URL equals right there. We want to get rid of that and everything in front of it. So what we're going to do there, this is the code, tcreg dot star URL. And what we want to replace it with? Nothing. Close it up. There we go. Okay, now we're back into something that we should be uh, doing. Now, notice it's still got that equals in front of it. You could just do dot and that dot right there will get rid of that character in front of the HTTP which was that equal sign. So that's that code that I was just talking about right then. We want to get rid of everything from here on back. Well, not there, but right there. All that stuff on back to the beginning, and we want to be left with just this piece here, which is exactly what we have. As you can see here, that is that URL. So that's going to be the link that we want to open up. And now you only have to change this one time. You don't have to go and do this for all the other pieces because remember everything's linked into one piece the way we have our global set up. And then last but not least, how in the heck do we get the image if there is an image? Well, I'm going to go to wherever I have the image at. I think it's just right back here at the beginning, right there. So I have a shape, a square over in its FX. I have a texture, a bitmap. And this is the code. Maybe there is a, a few different pieces, maybe an extra period here and there. Feel free to do that, but basically I'm not doing anything really any different, except notice I am doing the GV feed piece. That is the new part of this one. And it, what it's doing is it's looking inside of item one description. So item one description, and then we're doing regex to search through or search for image source. We're getting rid of everything in front of image source. And then ultimately what, what we're gonna be cutting out here is this part right roughly right about there, I think. And let's see if that matches up with what we have here. 
And notice I have the HTTP in front. Um, so that's how I'm getting that part. T2, yeah, da, 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 da. What does it end in? A Q and a zero, Q and a zero. So that code right there. Again, I'm not going to go through all that step by step because that's exactly what I did back here in this video. But those are the three pieces that we need to change. I think that's, well, there's four pieces actually, right? Or how many ever I told you, I can't remember. But anyway, um, by us doing that, by us pulling all of the information, the title, the link, and the image from that particular item number, you're ensuring that everything's always going to be synced up. And there you have it. That's how you can use the Google RSS XML file to get the link, the image, uh, and the title and keep them all synced together. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.